can see you and we can hear you. Ah, uh, good, good. I'm just seeing you. It says poor connection, so hopefully we don't lose each other. Well, we're, we're going to try our best here. So thank you so much for being here at the first ever CroftCon. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your audition process for the Bugaloos. Oh, have you got six months? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it was a very highly publicized um, announcement in the newspapers that Hollywood producers were coming to London to look for four youngsters to be able to sing uh, for a TV series. And um, this went up for, for, for every day, and um, I saw it in the newspaper, and a friend saw it, and she said, oh, come on, let's go along and, and have a go. And I said, no, it's just a publicity stunt. They already have it, everybody who they want lined up. There's no point. It's just going to be, you know, a waste of time. Anyway, to cut a long story short, she dragged me along. And it was being held at um, in EMI in London. So when we got there, there were just millions of youngsters outside queuing. I said, oh my goodness, forget it. Let's go home. This is a waste of time. Because normally when you go for an audition or an interview, you have an appointment. You may have to wait a bit and there's others waiting. But this was just, you know, anybody could go along an audition. Uh, anyway. She, she made me wait, I'm happy to say, she made me wait and eventually we got in and they were seeing uh, 12 people at a time. So we had to go in, 12 people at a time, sit in a semicircle and one by one we were asked our names and, uh, and then they said, okay, one by one, we just want you to each of you sing a little bit, not for too long, but just sing. So we each got out one by one and sang a little bit of a song. Uh, I sang yesterday of the Beatles, and then once everybody had finished, which was done pretty quickly, then they said, okay, uh, we'll come outside and we'll let you know who can wait and who can go home. So that's what happened. We went back outside, and uh, obviously they said a few names to wait, one of them being mine, and, um, and so it went on like that, but they saw over 4,000 youngsters over a period of, of several days a week. So you can imagine, it must have been hard work for them, but it was certainly hard work for us. So anyway, yes, I was called back. I had to go back the next day and again the day after. And each time we, we had to do something, maybe uh, a bit more stinging or, or questions asked uh, and everything. And little by little, they filtered it down to just a few of us. Now, another girl that had to go back um, uh, was a girl at the same agency, at the same school as me, Janie. And we were both actually working up the road in the, I think it was the Dorchester Hotel. 